Today, I will be showing you how to integrate ForeFlight with Microsoft Flight Simulator. ForeFlight is a GPS app that runs on the iPad. It includes a number of features, including VFR and IFR maps, weather radar, potential flight hazards, and flight planning. It does cost about $100 a year for a basic membership. I'm not sure it's justified for using with Flight Simulator alone. However, if you're a pilot and you fly often, you likely already have ForeFlight. You may as well connect it to Flight Simulator. The integration works by changing the input into ForeFlight from a GPS signal to the position of your aircraft in Flight Simulator. We do this with an application called Flight Events. To get Flight Events, go to events.flighttracker.tech. Once you get to the site, click the Join button and download MSFS Client. Extract the zip file, and you can move the extracted files anywhere you'd like. I'm going to save mine to the program files directory. Before we start flight events, make sure Flight Simulator is running and you have a flight started. Cleared for takeoff runway 35 left Cessna 808. Now we can launch flight events. The application is not signed, so Windows Defender will probably block it. Click More Info and then Run Anyway. On the flight events window, enter a call sign of your choosing. Click the Settings tab and then check Broadcast Data to Local Network. If you see a Windows message asking about allowing access for flight events, make sure you click Allow. If you accidentally close the window like I did earlier, we will need to fix that. I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Click back to the Simulator tab and then start flight tracking. A message will indicate a successful connection in Flight Simulator. Now that Flight Events is outputting our positional data, we need to configure ForeFlight to receive it. This next part can be a little tricky as not all steps will be necessary for everyone. First, make sure that your iPad is on the same network as your computer running Flight Simulator. On your iPad, open ForeFlight, click the More button, and then Devices. If you see Flight Events listed here, simply tap it and you're done. If you see no device listed, we need to configure Flight Events a bit more. Before going back to the PC, get the IP address of your iPad. This can be done by clicking the I button at the top of the ForeFlight window. Back in Flight Events, switch to the Settings tab, uncheck the box we checked before, enter the IP address we just got from your iPad, and recheck the box. Back on the Simulator tab, stop and restart flight tracking. Now switch back to your iPad. You may need to restart for flight. Check the Devices tab again and see if Flight Events is listed. If it's still not listed, Windows may be blocking Flight Events from sending the data. As I mentioned before, I had accidentally closed the Windows message asking me to allow access for Flight Events. Hit the Windows key and type Windows Firewall. Click the option for Allow an app through Windows Firewall. Click the Change Settings button and scroll down to flightevents.client. Click that checkbox and then click OK. Stop and start flight tracking once more in Flight Events. Now switch back to the iPad to see if it's listed. Back in ForeFlight, we can see that Flight Events is finally listed. Tap the tile and ensure that the slider shows it's enabled. Tap the Maps button and you'll see that we are positioned on 35 left, just like we are in Flight Simulator. Now let's go for a flight.
As you can see, Core Flight is tracking our position, altitude, and ground speed. And that's it. ForeFlight is now configured to receive data from Microsoft Flight Simulator. You can use ForeFlight as you would in any real flight. In fact, I just used it to fly a route I had configured for a real flight. If there's a topic you'd like to see covered in a future video, let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, you can find me live on Twitch at twitch.tv turbochuck. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.